You're gonna need five components. Your laptop running Windows 10 or 11, your USB cable, your digi rig, the audio cable, and your radio. Okay, what I have in here is VFOB is programmed on 145.07.000, and that is our gateway frequency. On the top VFO, I have uh, it programmed to a DMR channel off island, uh, out of the region that is not going to fire and interrupt our transmission. You can also program the radio and have a VARA channel programmed or APRS channels programmed in the radio and that's what I also have. Now we're gonna adjust the squelch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to menu, go down to settings, We're gonna to go to radio set. We're gonna scroll down to other functions. We're gonna scroll down to analog squelch level. And we're gonna scroll up to off. Then we're gonna hit the back button so we get back to our frequency. Okay, what you're going to do is you may have to go to digirig.net, look for this uh, digirig underscore USB driver install dot PDF. I'll put that in the uh, notes below on uh, the link for this. This shows you how to install the driver or drivers for the digirig. We're not going to go into that in this video. In the search window, we're going to type in device manager and then we're going to hit open. We're going to open up two different uh, windows to see what happens here. We're going to open up the ports and we're going to go and open up the audio input. So we'll have those two open. We'll drag this down just a little bit more so we can see what's going on. Now we're going to plug the digi rig into the side of the PC, the USB. And what should happen, you hear, should hear a pong or a ping, and it should open up. It may take a second as it's recognizing the different devices. And what it's done is it's pulled up two different items. The first one is it now shows the microphone, uh, number four USB uh, PNP sound device. And the next one is the uh, speakers. And then when we come down here, we can see this is the Silicon Labs CP210X USB uh, bridge. WinLink, uh, we're going to go and scroll down here to VARA FM WinLink. We're going to open the session. Okay, once that's opened, what we're going to do is that's starting to open up VARA and um, what I like to do is under the bar at TNC settings here, we'll go to bar at TNC, bar at setup. And as this, I'll actually like to show the bar at TNC screen when launched because we're going to need it to set our sound levels anyway. So we're going to go update. It'll close it, it'll reopen it. And bar will launch. Now, as we look down here, VARA is absolutely pinging, and that's just way uh, too, the audio is way too hot down here on the UV meter. We can see that going on right now. So what we're going to do is need to fix that. We're going to go down, and we're going to um, type in control panel, hardware and sound, and we're going to go to manage audio devices next what we're going to do is we're going to the recording and we can see here how this is very pegged as well i'm going to open up the VARA window to kind of show you that it's still pegged there that's most likely caused now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to come down double click that open that up and uh, we're going to go straight to custom and that's the problem automatic gain control is on so what we're going to do is turn that off. 
and we can see it lessen down a little bit but we're going to go and double check everything else it should be on dvd quality the levels uh, we're going to have set at 41 and then on the volume knob of the radio we're going to put that at about 25 percent okay we can see that it's completely pegged so what we're going to do is turn the volume all the way up and we're going to slowly turn the volume back down to the uv meter reads about negative 10 db about there what we're going to do is go into channel selection i'm going to click on my gateway which is the closest one in the house we're going to go direct uh, we don't need any of these other items in here this is if you want to do digipeating we're not going to need to do any of that to reach a gateway that's located in my house and we're going to go direct um, the frequency you may have to put it in here uh, to have it uh, if it doesn't auto generate it I like to do it even though there's not cat control on this radio then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit start I'm gonna look down here and see what happens okay we're starting to see a connection And we're going through a full transaction. Hope that helps. Aloha and 73 from KH6ML.